Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration of how the new remote play feature on the PS4 works on a MacBook Pro 13 inch. I chose an iOS device in order to be able to use the DualShock 4 controller, so without further ado, let's see how it performs. Alright guys, and here we are. I wanted to start this off from the very beginning so you guys can see how this whole process works. I do have my DualShock 4 controller connected to my MacBook Pro, so let's just go ahead and launch the app. Just press start. And there you go. It's very quick, very simple. And as you can see, the textures, the visuals look very, very good. The Remote Play um, app does have two settings 1080p and 720p. Now, you're only going to be able to play in 1080p on PS4 Pros. If you have a PS4 Slim or launch PS4, you're only going to be able to play this in 720p. Now as you can see everything's running very smoothly right now, I am about 7 feet away from my Wi-Fi router so I am getting a very good signal here, but even when I play this from my bedroom uh, about 35 feet away and two walls in between, I still get a very good gaming experience, no very, actually no visual lag, the occasional judder and uh, you know buffer, but overall it doesn't happen so often that distracts me from my gaming experience, so I think uh, you know that's a point towards uh, this remote play feature that which I think was long overdue this uh, feature I believe is Sony's answer to Google Stadia now you're gonna be able to play your PS4 from anywhere I did choose an iOS device since uh, right now on the iOS and Google Pixel devices you can use your DualShock 4 controller on all other Android devices you're gonna be stuck using on-screen buttons and while it does work I wouldn't really recommend it for long sessions of gaming because yeah, I don't know it's um it's a little weird, a little awkward, and I don't really enjoy myself that much using those on-screen buttons. Now, right here, this uh, this gameplay looks very smooth, very detailed and everything, but every once in a while you will get the occasional judder. So, you know, keep in mind with that if, uh, if it frustrates you, if it's going to annoy you exactly like right there. Um, it doesn't happen very often, but uh, when the signal drops or... You know you have a few walls in between or something that could happen so you know you're doing any serious gaming and that might frustrate you so you know just uh, watch out for that it doesn't really bother me since it doesn't happen that often overall I think this is a great feature I mean it's free you know it's just a free update so I just think this uh, this was great on Sony's part just uh, you know updating their PS4 you know keeping it more in line with the Nintendo switch Google Stadia and uh, I think this is a very great feature and um, I really enjoy using it. So yeah guys, this was my quick demo of the remote play using uh, the MacBook Pro 13 inch. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you liked it then uh, please uh, leave a like and uh, comment and just uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video.